back in Delray Beach, Florida, all the way from uh, Washington State. Came down to uh, Miami uh, the past couple days for our Grant Cardone licensee uh, two-day mastermind workshop. Phenomenal event. Learned so much. Ready to take that knowledge into the marketplace. I always love coming down to this Delray area, Delray Beach area, and it's Christmas time. As you can see, they got the big Christmas tree up. They've got a nice little carousel. I'm gonna take you on a little journey and show you a little bit of the festivities and a little bit more of uh, Delray Beach, or at least Atlantic Avenue portion of Delray Beach. Then we're gonna probably head up to uh, Palm Beach itself and go up to Worth Avenue and take a look at the uh, Worth Avenue Christmas tree something I've always wanted to do in person. So a little uh, carousel they got set up here at Old School Park, uh, which is right uh, right behind Atlantic Avenue. It's kind of neat for the, the kids. We've got a little treat house there, gingerbread treat house. And then of course, a uh, little Santa shop, a wonderful, Delray Beach, Atlantic Avenue, Christmas tree. I'm sure this place looks a whole lot better lit up at night. Uh, right now, there's not a lot going on here. It's middle of the day. On the other side of the uh, Christmas tree here, I noticed there's a huge open air stage, kind of almost like an amphitheater. Uh, there's some live music playing. Uh, it look, sounds like they're just practicing though. It looks like there's a big banner that says Beatles on the beach. So must be a local uh, Beatles cover band. Uh, they've got the chairs set up. This event must be going on tonight or tomorrow. Food trucks are getting set up. I'm sure it's going to be a fun, good family event. Walking down Atlantic Avenue here. Just had lunch at the farmhouse. Give it up to Josh, the server at the bar. Great food, great recommendations. Just a great atmosphere. I'll tell you what, uh, there's plenty of places to eat. Quick grub. The uh, atmosphere down here is just absolutely amazing. Everybody's friendly. If you're ever looking to come down to the Miami area, you gotta make a 30, 40 minute drive up to Delray Beach. I guarantee you, you'll be happy you did. I'm walking up to the intercoastal, the bridge to get over it, and uh, they're raising the bridge right now. Uh, so there must be a big boat coming. I might have to wait for a minute. Uh, it's pretty cool to see these bridges go up the way they do. Reminds me of back when I was a kid. It seems like a, there was a lot more bridges that uh, would go up. And there it goes, back down again. They go up, they go down real quick. Not a lot of waiting. Well, it's uh, a big goal of mine to get a second place down here in Delray. It's good to have big goals big dreams in your career, in your business, trying to have that in the back of your mind or the forefront of your mind. Make it work harder, make you go out and hustle more. You never know what kind of boat you're gonna see as you're uh, crossing over it. Makes you keep in mind that, uh, you know, there's plenty of money in the world. And if you're worried that there's a money shortage out there, you know, I know the economy isn't doing too great right now. There's still a bunch of people killing it out there right now, making boatloads of money. And you can get yours, it's really not that hard. You just need to put your mind to it have intention behind everything you do, set massive goals, and then go out and attack and take massive action. We're walking up to Delray Beach here, the actual beach itself. I love seeing the uh, the information center there all decked out in Christmas. You know, I gotta tell you, it's a real different feeling. I'm not used to being in a, you know, 75, 80 degree weather in the middle of December. 
you know, thinking that Christmas is only a week away and uh, coming down here and seeing everybody in shorts and flip flops, it's a pretty amazing sight. Well, I didn't expect to see this many people sitting on the beach today. You know, it's uh, it is Friday though. You know, a lot of people start their weekend on Friday. It's a great sight. Headed back down the other side of Atlantic Avenue here, planning to find some uh, gift shops uh, so I could pick up some stuff for the kids. And the next stop is going to be what uh, Palm Beach and Worth Avenue, we're gonna go up and look at the uh, beautiful, famous Worth Avenue Christmas tree. All right, here we are at the famous Worth Avenue. As you can see, the Worth Avenue clock there and the Worth Avenue sign. So we're gonna head down and we're gonna try to find the uh, famous Worth Avenue Christmas tree. Should be all up this time of year. May not be lit, but uh, the decorations uh, are pretty amazing to look at. This isn't the Worth Avenue Christmas tree, but I saw this little area here where there's uh, just off of Worth Avenue, a lot of little shops. Of course, you got the uh, this plaza side of the Gucci store. Uh, there's a lot of high-end uh, apparel here. It definitely looks like a great place to spend the day and spend a little bit of money. The little plaza was a nice little shopping mall. It has uh, ended out here at the Saks Fifth Avenue. Uh, it looked uh, pretty fairly busy inside, which is a good sign for this time of year. Well, here it is, the world famous Worth Avenue Christmas tree. Just beautiful. I love where they position it. If you look back, you have the poinsettias. Well, there it is. Merry Christmas, everyone.